learn about codons and anticodons to understand about codons and anticodons first let's understand its basics and we'll start with rna rna is basically a genetic material and if i talk about what is genetic material it is something which is being transferred from one generation to the other generation the way we have dna the same way we have rna in most of the viruses this is been serving as a genetic material when i talk about rna rna is made up of four base pair a u g c adenine guanine cytosine and uracil as you can see it is similar to that of dna but the only difference is of u because in dna we have thymine instead of uracil this was all about the rna basics now there are some different types of rna among which we are going to discuss about mrna which is messenger rna and trna which is transfer rna now these two types are been very important for codons and anticodons messenger rna is going to bring message that is coded by the dna and transfer rna is going to bring the amino acid which is going to make up the protein so you have guessed it correct that is codons and anticodon is a very important structure for protein synthesis now let's understand more about codons and anticodons as you can see it's a decoded rna sequence so it's going to have a u g c a is always going to complement with u and u is always going to complement with a similarly g is going to complement with c and c is going to complement with g so in simple words a and u are best friends and g and c are best friends now if i talk about the codons you can see in front of you there is a sequence of rna and if i join the three base pairs or if i just group the three base pair this is in simple known as codons and it is going to have a complementary structure of it and that is known as anti codons now this codon is going to be brought by mrna according to the dna so whatever the dna is been coding of according to to that the mrna is going to be made and the codons are going to be grouped in three and then we are going to have anti codon which is going to be brought by trna so in in simple uh, this is basically the trna this is not the actual structure just to make you understand this is the trna and here we have amino acid which is going to be utilized in protein synthesis now this is the actual structure of trna so you can see this is the hairpin like structure this is nothing but the trna and the trna is going to bring amino acid along with it and anti codon structure as per the codon so this is basically the mrna mrna is going to bring codon along with it and according to the codon the anti codon are going to be brought by the trna so this codon and anti codon will be meeting together only during the process of protein synthesis if you have not watched the video of protein synthesis you can uh, uh you can check the video in the description box where you can understand the concept of protein synthesis which is nothing but the making of protein inside our body so codon and anti codon is been very important for the production of protein now let's sum up the whole thing codons are nothing but the three base sequence of nitrogenous bases which is brought up by mrna the same way it is also going to be coding for specific amino acid according to this codes we are going to have anti codon according to the codon we will be having anti codon which will be brought by 
tRNA. This is also going to have three base sequence and this is going to be recognized by the tRNA as per the complementary structure. In our body, the mRNA is going to have 64 codon among which 61 are the codons which is going to be coded by specific amino acid which will be in return going to be made going to be making the proteins and the three will be the stop codon. Now there will be a start codon and there will be a stop codon. Obviously the proteins are going to have a limited sequence like only 19 sorry only 20 amino acids will come together to make up one protein. So in this protein there will be a start start amino acid and there will be a stop amino acid. So start codon, stop codon. So there are such three codons which will be stop which will stop the protein synthesis. That means that will be the end of amino acid. I hope it has been very clear. I hope the video was really helpful for you. Thank you for listening to me and I hope enjoy this. I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.